So hey everybody, welcome back, Intern Queen channel. I'm here with one of my favorite UGA students, Lottie. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I got to meet you last year at the Intern Queen party. Yeah, yeah. in New York. Lottie's a YouTuber and she has a really big engaged following and she's doing really cool stuff. So do you want to just briefly introduce yourself to everybody? Yeah, of course. And tell them where they can follow you. Yeah, of course. Hey everyone, my name's Lottie. I am a junior at UGA studying public relations and my YouTube channel is just Lottie Smalley. If you search me, um, L-O-T-T-I-E-S-M-A-L-L-E-Y. And that's my handle for everything else. So Instagram, I'm at Lottie Smalley. Twitter, at Lottie Smalley. Snapchat, Lottie Smalley. Just, I'm sure you'll find me everywhere. Pretty simple, but um, I make like college and lifestyle videos almost every week on my channel. And I love connecting with my audience and I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, so do you like, like exactly like college life stuff? And I know most of you do because you're watching internship content. Like, please, please go check her out. You'll love it. Because of the book, Get It Together, and how much people seem to be responding to this topic of like, oh, I need to get it together right now. I have a video from my senior year about like how to get your life together. It was like a back to school video that I did. Yeah. So I was like, okay, what if we can talk to Lottie off the cuff? I want her to tell me just one, maybe a goal she has or like one way that she feels like maybe her life isn't together. And in two minutes, I'm gonna try to solve her problem. I don't know what's gonna happen, but, and then we'll see if you think this is like a solution. Okay. And hopefully I can figure out what to help you with. But yeah, okay, so what do you feel like you need to get together? Um, I feel like, I mean, there's so many things I can choose from. Something professionally that I'm trying to work on is being better about following up with people, being really organized. And also um, I'm really trying for this summer to get an in-house PR um, internship or experience. So really finding like contacts and opportunities for in-house PR has been really challenging because so many firms are great and have awesome opportunities for internships. Right. But sometimes it can be harder to get your So you want to go to a brand and mm -hmm. work and do in-house PR. Just to okay. see what it's like because before I graduate, I really want to have an idea of what it looks like to work in-house PR versus Got it. And what was, the, so wait, you said you want the in-house PR internship. You yeah. want to be more organized. What was the first thing you like said? Following, following up with like tips for following, following tips up. Following. Like how do I not okay. be annoying? So my fake clock in my head. All right, ready? Go. Okay, so here is the Get It Together video with Lauren and Lottie on how to follow up more, be organized, and get an in-house PR internship. All right, okay, so tips for following up. So I talk about this a lot in my speeches, but you have to follow up three times per year. So I usually say once in the fall, I think like a college student, once in the spring, once in the summer, mm -hmm. but it's like, I would put reminders on your calendar three times per year. In the winter, do it around the holidays. That way you just yeah, say happy I did holidays. That last year. Yeah, but it's just this idea of like reaching out to people and not asking for anything and just yeah. saying hi. Like my favorite emails to send are like thinking of you emails and really push yourself. If you're thinking of someone, tell them. And it doesn't, I think there's this like false impression that if you're thinking of someone, it has to be accompanied with a question. Mm -hmm. You don't need to ask them anything. Like people love, I love getting emails where there's nothing for me to answer because we're all living in such an email heavy environment right now yeah and then obviously you know things like after the thank you note you'll send a handwritten note and then something that I'm challenging myself to do I talk about this and um, get it together is I'm challenging myself to write two thank you notes every week so every Friday two handwritten notes and like who am I gonna write them to I don't know but sometimes it's personal sometimes it's professional but I feel like this is all like really good relationship care my mm -hmm. time's running out okay being organized. My biggest tip for being organized is you have your crazy to-do list, take the top three to five things, nothing else matters. Like mm -hmm. take those off your list because yeah. it's just a reminder that you're not you're not getting done everything you want to. You can't get yeah. done all of those things. It's not possible. Take those things, put them in your calendar and block time to do them. Mm -hmm. We talk about that at my office all the time, like blocking time is so key. Yeah. And then for an in-house PR internship, write down a list of your favorite brands and you're gonna have to go to like the head of global PR, the head of global PR. And I think also looking on on LinkedIn and asking your agency PR people, can they introduce you to your to their clients? Because yeah. they're working with the PR people yeah. at that company. Yeah, but like going after your favorite brands, looking up those people on LinkedIn because they do exist. You can probably find their name on LinkedIn and then being an investigator. How do you find their e sorry, this oh, is like a follow-up okay. question. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay. We did um, follow up. Like. Yeah. Follow-up question. How do you, if you like say I wanted to work for Mac Cosmetics, right. we're going big. How do I find a way to contact them or someone on their team. Right, so the first thing you're gonna have to figure out is you're gonna have to be like an investigator and figure out their email. Sometimes I'll go to like the Matt Cosmetics website and go to like, you know, at the bottom where they have in like really fine print, like about us or like privacy yeah. policy or like, 
press releases and just try to find something with an email address. Like I think that Mac is owned by Estee Lauder. Yeah. Like, it's probably like, you know, first, first name. First initial, last name. Yeah, something. Uh, yeah. And just trying a bunch of different ones, honestly. Sometimes you can also, if you find their first and last name on LinkedIn, you can like copy paste that and put it into Google and see what comes up. Mm -hmm. And then otherwise like ask people like me because you know what, Lottie, I pay a lot of money to subscribe to these like um, sales leads lists so mm -hmm. that I can pitch brands. Yeah. So like I probably have the um, the email okay. or at least they could figure it out for the yeah. companies that you want. So I think it's also a matter of like using your resources and being like, okay, who might, if they don't know the person, because maybe they're not connected on LinkedIn, but like who might know, like at least the email protocol. And like, I'm mm -hmm. someone that pitches brands all day. So like, I probably know. So I can yeah. Help. You know, so I think it's like thinking outside of the box, not just about who knows someone, but like who could just get you the email protocol so that yeah. you can pitch yourself. And at a company like Mac, I would assume they're gonna put you back to the bigger HR person mm -hmm. for Estee Lauder companies and yeah. da, da, da. And if you're applying to Mac, I would apply for like, you know, the 10 other makeup companies that are just like Mac, yeah. small, big, everybody. Perfect. And now I'm thinking like beauty brands <laughs> that I might know, and I might know something, so you have to follow the okay, that. All right, yay. Um, so hopefully you guys, that was helpful. It was a lot of tips in a short amount of time, um, but I know a lot of you guys are feeling like Lottie and feeling just like, overwhelmed and like you're not yeah. organized enough and you're not doing this and you're not doing this. I saw Lottie's spreadsheet earlier, <laughs> her intern queen dream list of places she's applying and it looks really good. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And give it a thumbs up. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions for Lottie, um, please leave them below and make sure to follow her stuff. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks Bye, for guys. watching.